Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Well, today is going to be Queen Elizabeth. Let's see what she's thinking about uh, everything that's going on. I mean, Harry is at top of mind for me, but um, let's just do a, a general read on Queen Elizabeth right now. So I don't have much on the Queen, but uh, it, it's worth a little refresher, just a short little uh, list of kind of uh, what's going on for her, and um, uh, why not? So uh, her name, of course, is Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, born on the 21st of April, 1926, during the reign of her paternal grandfather, the V. She's the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, uh, who later became, of course, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. Now, her father, the Duke of York, was the second son of the king and ascended to the throne on the abdication of his brother, uh, Edward uh, VIII, yeah, in 1936, from which time uh, then she was the heir uh, presumptive. Um, her mother, the Duchess of York, later was Queen Elizabeth, and then much later, the Queen Mother, was the youngest daughter of a Scottish aristocrat. Uh, he was the Earl of Strathmore and King Home. She was delivered by cesarean session, section at the uh, maternal grandfather's London house. So at her mother's father's London house. Interesting. She was baptized in the uh, private chapel of Buckingham Palace and named Elizabeth after her mother, Alexandra after uh, George V's mother. And uh, of course, she was George V's mother was also the queen and the queen mother and who had died six months earlier. And then uh, Mary after her paternal uh, grandmother. She was educated privately at home and began to undertake public duties during the Second uh, World War, serving in the Auxiliary uh, ter Territorial Service. Man, I, uh, my lips are just uh, mushy today. In 1947, she married uh, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. He is, uh, was a former Prince of Greece and Denmark. In 2017, she became the first British monarch to reach a Sapphire Jubilee. In 2021, after 73 years of marriage, uh, her husband, Prince Philip, died at the age of 99. Just, uh, I think, a few days or a week from his uh, 100th birthday. Uh, Elizabeth is the longest lived and longest reigning British monarch, the longest serving female head of state in world history, the world's oldest living monarch, the longest reigning current monarch, and oldest and longest serving current head of state. Support for the monarchy in the United Kingdom has been and remains consistent, consistently high, as does her personal popularity, and she's called Lilibet by her close family. That's the Queen of England. I think that's a pretty nice little uh, bit of information just to start us off on to see um, what's the Queen thinking. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in, on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of, you'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came up with some beautiful, beautiful artwork. And all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer. So let's see what we come up with 
for Queen Elizabeth, I mean, we think that we're going through some insane uh, stuff now with the royal family. But let's look back on how she became queen. Okay? I mean, her uncle abdicated the throne because he wanted to marry an American divorcee. And presumably, that American divorcee would eventually become queen. And that just couldn't happen. Then, she gets married to Prince Philip, who was a bit of a carouser. And uh, I was all set up by uh, his uncle, I guess it is. Then, let's see what happens. Then, oh yeah, um, finally her son comes of age after she ascends the throne. And, um, and he's in love with someone who already got married. They've been really in love since they were teenagers. But she went ahead and got married because she figured she would never be queen. Uh, then his family tries to set him up. And uh, that ends up with Diana, but he still loved Camilla. Diana's an innocent bystander in all of that. And when she figures it out, she's ostracized. She's supposed to become queen. But there's no support for her teaching her how to be queen. She chucks it all. Her dad, her husband, marries his longtime lover. <laughs> oh my God, Queen Elizabeth is in the background. Now this isn't even talking about all the years that Margaret, her sister, was having insane, uh, lusty affairs all over the place, and uh, all the other stuff that was going on while she was queen uh, regarding family. So, I mean, who is anyone to say how things should be conducted? What a mess. So, Queen Elizabeth, you have the experience, you have the knowledge, you've seen it all. You've seen it all. Do you recognize the mistake made with Charles uh, marrying Diana? And, um, but then we just do what we can with what we know at the time that it's happening and what we know at that time. Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth. I would think foremost right now, let's see, uh, she wants the rift with Harry, I'm sure to mend, so that uh, William become an, can become an effective king when this time comes. <sighs> let's pull six cards. One, two, three, four, five, Six. What is on your mind? You know, I'm just going to read the cards as they come out, and we'll see if they start to tell us a story. The signifier card for Queen Elizabeth, sweetheart, what's on your mind right now, is the Ace of Coins. So the Ace of Coins is typically, you know, uh, an offer. I say a page is uh, like a messenger to the court. He's not the person that comes up with the idea, but he carries the message of the value. He's like someone puts something in an envelope, puts it in the page's hand, and he runs to the court, he delivers it on a silver tray. So he's bringing the message to court for consideration. And this one is a message of some value, of some consideration. So the self of this uh, reading then is the page of coins. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the ace of coins. That's fantastic. So the ace of coins then being the self of this, because it's the queen, is a great big huge uh, offer of value. Wow, okay. So I think she modestly uh, sees herself as uh, a value. Uh, the challenge to that then, wow, is the queen of wands. So there we go. So wands are action, uh, power, movement forward. This is the queen and she's the queen with a plan because she knows how to spend her value. The base of this reading then is the star, star of the show. She has been. She, uh, from the moment that uh, the world uh, knew that she was the heir presumptive, the first female in quite a while, but here another Elizabeth after the first very successful Elizabeth, some would say successful. So yeah, the star. Very interesting. So a great big offer. She is the queen of wands and that's what challenges this offer, how to spend uh, that value. Uh, but when you know you have to make plans moving forward and keep moving forward. And she came, stepped into this as just a break big star in the past is having, uh, this is a seven of cups. So this is so all the choices called illusion and delusion, but being the master, I mean, look at the castle right off in the background, but this woman is right up in the foreground showing you that she has all these choices. She has lots to deal with here. So let's, I want you to see uh, what I can do. And I look very unassuming, don't I? So that's the past. The, uh, the sky for this reading then is the knight of cups. And the Knight of Cups, you know, Cups are a great, are a passion, uh, emotions. Um, and so this Knight uh, would be the fellow who's willing to fight for those emotions. And, you know, I, I think um, this could be Harry. I think she could see Harry. Oh, gosh.
put this like that. And then the um, likely outcome for the first part of this then is the three of wands. Okay, so the queen with a plan is turning to long-term planning now. I've assumed that her plans would be short-term since, you know, she doesn't have a long time. But no, she's looking to the real future. She is, she is trying to stay a few uh, steps ahead, a few chess moves ahead. Uh, let's see, what, and what does that mean then? What's the self of this reading for Queen Elizabeth right now? The self. So as the Four of Swords, again, it's that the message of really uh, take a rest because you are a wearier, a wearier warrior. And you have a deserved, and it's going to be soon time when you might step inside this sarcophagus. But right now, we're going to take our truths, we're going to take our justice, we're going to take a rest and make some careful considerations. And we're going to get up very carefully at our peril here. So let's, that's the self. That's the self. Very self uh, cautious considerations. Um, the uh, environment that that's in, however, is the Eight of Coins, and really, of course, honing your craft, or being the one who has honed their craft, the, the, the one with the plan, who knows how it all works, who has the knowledge to move this thing, that's the environment that you're uh, in. You're actually in the perfect environment for where you are. And uh, what a uh, luxury, I'm sure you realize you have, as compared to how your father uh, was at the time when he had uh, relinquished the throne uh, from Elvis. Then the uh, hopes and the fears of all of that is death. Of course it is. Of course it is. No explanation needed. No explanation needed. The end of a cycle. And then the likely outcome of, of whatever is cooking in your uh, in your uh, head a uh, little bit is the Empress. Look at that. Look at that. Really caring for the, your empire really nurturing it and and giving it all the strength it needs as as you can as you can give to it all that you have and pass it off to uh, to go forward wow you can only do what you can do that's how i see that that's really lovely so that was a nice reading, actually. I wanted to kind of get into the head of, uh, of the queen, and it started off as a, a very modest signifier, although an ace, but an ace of coin, uh, someone with uh, lots of intention, lots of value to bring to the game, and then in, in, uh, challenged by being the queen of action, the queen of, 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 of getting things done. Uh, you started out in all of this as the star, and then you came at it finally now at this point with the seven of cups, really having all the choices that you need, and you know how to use them. And um, right now we're talking about legacy. We're talking about Harry and how do we uh, send this forward because this directly affects one future king of this country. Um, you know that you have to take a break and consider everything that is happening right now before it's time for you to actually get into that sarcophagus. And uh, you're, uh, you've learned your craft. You know what it takes to go forward. Um, you were in the in this first six card uh, making some plans, and in the, right now, what are the hopes and the fears? Well, the fears are that this is the end. You know what you may do now is is, is the defining um, move. Because why? Because you are the empress, and that's how it all ends up. You are the empress, and as the duty of the empress, you're going to pass this on in as good a condition as you possibly can, even looking forward to another generation or maybe two. That's Queen Elizabeth. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.